Okay, I gotta warn you, this guy's the GM, alright? So. Are you GM? Yeah. yeah. Alright. And he's not kidding. There you go. Okay, good. Uh, What's your name? Victor. Victor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready.
would have tried it myself if I would have known. Hey guys, Brian here. What a great game by Duck, man. I love how he played unorthodox against Victor. And you could tell Victor was like, I haven't really seen this before. And positionally, I think Duck was winning. Computer had Duck winning. And it was a great game. But I think once Victor kind of penetrated with those rooks, oof, it was a great way to finish it off. And for those who are wondering kind of what happened, basically Duck took here not knowing that rook or Nightwood um, is guarding the rook here. So... Wow, beautifully done, GM Victor. Man, these grandmasters are something else, aren't they? And man, and Duck had a shot too. <laughs> and Duck played great. Let's figure out how Duck could have. Um, there wasn't anything like tactical, but this positional opportunity for Black here. And in the game, we had Knight F3. Let's go move back. Will be another move for Black here. Yes, one idea is just maybe uh, Queen up, just develop, and then Castle on the Queen side to get all your pieces into play and this could be one continuation and 
Um, who sink that night in, man. That is a beautiful octopus night there. And the game is a uh, computer's game for black at negative 7.2, believe it or not. Wow, crazy, right? And going over here, I think uh, this is where Victor starts to get his hooks in. We had rook h6. Let's go move back. Will be another move for for black here. Yes, maybe block the knight, the rook from coming in. I mean, you hate to kind of leave that outpost, right? But uh, this could be one continuation. And the reason why I say this is uh, kind of once the rook, once the rooks come in, and it went from 1.6 to 8.1, and this is uh, Victor just took control here and and closed the game out. Will be another move for Black here. I want to show you a really cool line here. Yes, maybe threaten the the rook and. Kind of don't allow white to have the time to double up, right? And now you can play queen f6, targeting the rook, I mean the pawn here, and then rook defends. And guess what? You can take the pawn, baby, what? <laughs> rook takes, and boom, knight, uh, rook no longer controlling the square, and you have the fork. So um, obviously, you kind of you can't take the, the queen, so uh, king back, and this could be one continuation, and... White is a little bit better at 2.1. I highlight this because it went from 1.9 to 8.8. .8. Wow. So this was all uh, White needed to get the initiative and to utilize all his pieces to close out the game. Wow. Beautifully done, Victor. And again, great fight by Duck as well. I love how he played it unorthodox. And it, and it worked, man. It worked. He had a positional advantage, but very, very hard to convert it against it when you're the one playing, especially against a grandmaster like Victor. But great game by both, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at the bell notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.